Welcome to another episode of my life. Today, I want to share with you some of the cultural shocks that I had when I moved to the Netherlands. In Mexico, we never ever drink tap water. And actually, it can be a little bit dangerous because you can get really sick if you do that. So you can imagine my shock when I came to the Netherlands and they offered me a glass of water. I felt a little bit uncomfortable and I didn't want to drink it, but I did it and it was okay. I didn't get sick. But the funny thing is now that I went back to Mexico for three months and I tasted the water there, I have to say that I was missing drinking tap water because let's be honest it's very it's very convenient just to open the tap and just have water super fast so yeah now i like it i love to have my hair done and i'm used to do that in the bathroom but here in the netherlands for some security purposes i think old houses don't have electric plugs in the bathroom so this is what i have to do every time i want to straight my hair The first time I went to IKEA, I was looking for some bed sheets. And for my surprise, nobody could understand me. They sent me to the area where the duvets were, and they told me these are the bed sheets. And I was like, no, these are the duvets. I was looking for bed sheets. <laughs> and they said, like, no, these are the bed sheets. <laughs> so it was it was very confusing. But then I understood and then I realized that they don't have a bed sheets like in Mexico that there is a very thin layer. Here the bed sheets are like the the duvets and that's it. And they only use as a bed sheet the one that is I mean the one that goes actually in the mattress. So yeah, that was a very very uh, very big surprise for me. <laughs> And then right after I realized that that was the bed sheet, I got another cultural shock because they asked me, what is the size of the bed sheet that you're looking for? And for me, of course, as a Mexican, the only sizes I have in my mind are tween, full, queen, and king. And when I said like, yeah, it's kind of like a queen size they were like what <laughs> and they said like no uh, the only sizes we have is uh 80 by 200 120 by 200 140 by 200 180 by 200 and i was like i don't know i have no idea so at the end i did it by anything because i had to go back home and measure the bed because 
yep, every bed is different. And actually, here is usually a 200 the length of the mattress, but some people, they have bigger uh, beds because Dutch people are very, very tall. So every bed is different, so the sizes are very different. So you need to measure your bed before you go and buy some bed sheets for your house. But now I actually love it because it's very simple to make the bed and it's very easy, it's very fast and I love it. The stairs in the Netherlands can be very, very scary, especially in old houses. I feel that in the new houses they're different, but in old houses they're very small and very steep. I have to say that this is the activity that I feel the most proud of me living in the Netherlands because living in Mexico I was not a person that I used to bike so in the Netherlands I had to learn how to bike but not only how to bike but to do basic things like going to do the groceries and the art and the mastering here is how to put everything on your bike. Of course, you can go many times to the grocery store and buy little things, but if you're a mom, you need to buy a lot of things, and believe me, you don't want to do a lot of rides. Did you see the movie? I found the remote. Yeah. <laughs> And now is my turn. And I have to say, it was always successful. Thank you for being here and thank you for watching my videos. Till the next time, bye-bye.